because there's that many layers in there before you get to a combustion chamber. But what you have, you have your combustion air unit, which is feeding your combustion air, okay? Combustion air goes into the chamber here. And if you look in there, you'll see your actual fuel nozzle and then your fuel ignites, basically runs out the exhaust. Your vent air fan right here, running air and that's what's scavenging that heat off that tube and then to your cabin so and then of course this is your fuel fuel source here coming in your ignition unit this is your combustion air pressure switch that's your safety sort of on that heater you'll have that jacket around your exhaust where you're robbing that heat from your exhaust to bring in or you have a heater but in both cases it's going to be the same scenario you either got a crack in the exhaust okay or you got a crack in in the heater which is allowing that combustion uh, or that CO to creep in from the exhaust side of that heater into that cabin. Every heater has this inspection criteria. So you're gonna go through, depending on the heater, you're, you're gonna do a PDT test, that pressure decay test. That pressure decay test, Pastor will tell you if that heater's leaking or not, if there's acceptable limits. Now those vary across the, the heater types, right, of how you're gonna do it. A lot of it's hand built. You know, you have your stamps and come out, but all the welding is done. But where you have the end cap here and you're welded around, you can, pick up cracks because remember a heater when you're you're using that heater you're going hot and cold so it's actually based off expansion how many cycles is that heater doing but that's essentially where it's coming from it's coming from some crack or some opening outside of that or that combustion chamber just putting that into the cabin 